The thing about a performance car is when you start to modify it, you've got to make sure it's tuned correctly. I don't care if you've got a Hemi or a Mustang, a C6 or even a nine second drag car. Your air fuel ratio is the difference between top performance and your engine blowing up. Today we're going to show you the latest in wideband controllers from Innovate Motorsports and when you check out all its features, it's going to blow you away. Welcome back to the Power TV Garage. Today we're giving you an inside look into the LM2 from Innovate. It's a fully digital wideband controller that does everything but tune your car. And we're a bit concerned about our Hemi supercharged Magnum back here because we added some parts and we're worried it might be running a little bit lean. So we're going to give you a preview of the LM2 to help you decide whether this is the right meter for you and at the same time see if our Magnum is running rich or just right. The LM2 is unique because it features three capabilities in one a wideband air fuel ratio meter that features lightning fast reaction times, a full OBD2 scanner that reads and clears trouble codes, and a full featured data logger that can display log runs on both the device's screen as well as through the LogWorks software. So as you can see, we've got the LM2 installed and configured. What I'm holding here is the LM2 handheld device. It's a multi-function device, as you can see, with a large LCD high contrast screen. These six buttons here make it very simple to use. So easy that even I can use it. So let's take a quick look at the install. Following the instructions, first we welded a bung into our exhaust upstream from the catalytic converter and screwed in the supplied Bosch sensor. Power for the LM2 comes from the cigarette lighter. The OBD2 cable plugs directly into your factory OBD2 connector. And finally, we hooked up our RPM input signal, which can be fed from the coiled ECU injector or ignition box. Of course, there are a bunch of options with the LM2, such as hooking up one of the four fully differential analog inputs for logging things like boost or wheel speed if desired. Finally, we decided not to use an external gauge, instead using the LM2 handheld screen itself. Now that we've shown you the install, let's take a look at the Innovate LM2 in action. Most people who are going to buy the LM2 are going to do so because it's one of the best air fuel meters on the market. Innovate Motorsports claims that it's the fastest and the most accurate. The Innovate LM2 lets you record a run either on the street, at the track or on the dyno just by pressing the record button. You can see the LM2 screen will inverse and it'll display a little R in the status bar down the bottom. If I want to stop the recording session, I just simply press the record button again and we've got the whole run saved. So let's head back to the shop and uh, see how we went. Okay, so check out how easy this thing is to use. To check out my acceleration run, all I have to do is hit mode, then enter. You can see the acceleration run playing over time. Now, this is great because basically I'm getting full access to what my air fuel ratio is doing and I don't have to look at a gauge. Another cool thing on this system with the controller is they let you toggle between one and two channel operation. It's also a line graph, four data channels, and a field graph. But this is just another cool thing to show off to your buddies. As an ASE certified mechanic, I know how important the OBD2 onboard diagnostics are for troubleshooting. The LM2 gives us the ability to read up to 16 channels from the ECU and record it to an SD card. Not only can we troubleshoot with the LM2, but we can get valuable data from the sensors like coolant temp, spark advance, and air inlet temp, and then you can cross-reference this against the air fuel and RPM in the LogWorks software. While BJ's been up the front working on that, we've been down here going through the setup process. It's a pretty simple affair, really. The first thing we had to do was configure the channels that we want on the configuration screen, and we've chosen four. We've got the O2 sensor up here, we've got RPM sensor, spark events, and a map sensor as well to measure the boost levels. Now, check out the log trace of the OBD2 data. You'll want to reference your LM2 instructions here because the logging capability of the LM2 allows it really to be a powerful resource. Now, we also discussed reading and clearing DTC codes or trouble codes. This is as simple as choosing OBD2 on the menu and selecting Get DTCs. If there are any error codes, they will be displayed. To clear them, it's as simple as choosing Clear DTC codes. And that gives us a full OBD2 scanner 
in our wideband for no extra dough. The guys at Innovate have got a complete step-by-step -step manual on how to do log works, but in essence the way it works is it allows you to review your data either by time or RPM on any Windows-based computer. Now rather than going into all the capabilities of this system, uh, what we want to do is show you a few screenshots of how you can review your data from a logged run, including the ADD2 parameters. Now this is typically the kind of depth that you'd see on a $2,000 data logger, but not anymore. So now hopefully you understand a little bit more of what the LM2 is capable of. What you probably don't understand is that this little handheld device costs under $500. Up until about five or six years ago, to get the kind of data that we've seen here today would have cost over $4,000 in data logging equipment and wideband equipment to get what we've seen here today. So thanks to LM2, we've now got a 5.7 litre Vortec equipped Magnum that's tuned for maximum horsepower that runs a very safe air fuel ratio. Till next time, my name's Bucko. Thanks for watching Power TV.